Hello guys, we're over here at Home Depot. Uh, we have a couple projects that we have to work on. We're gonna, we're gonna do man things, things at Home we're Depot. We're gonna do man things in here. All right, let's go. Hey, amigo. What size is the the pipe for the arbol? I think it's, uh, I don't know. You bring five inch and three quarters. I don't know what it is. You're so accurate, dude. <laughs> All right, bye, I love you. Hey, I love you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm gonna work with this. Come on. This is. Cha -ching. This is a veteran move at Home Depot. You just come in here first time you see the, the tape measure. You just you just grab it. You know you're gonna have to measure something. When you're in there. <laughs> oh shit! What? We need paint. Paint? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you call me? What'd you call me? All right, well, hey, I love you. I'll see you in a little bit, unless I die on the way home from a depot. <laughs> I hope you do. <gasps> Does this look like the green in the shop? I think so. I don't need it. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. Hey bro, we'll be back. Are you gonna be a minute? You think? Identify yourself. Who the fuck? Every time I come here, I usually get a minute. Shit, man. Bro, dude, owning a coffee shop is hard. <laughs> I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out. Oh my God. That's it. That's the new look. Because what we're going for, what we're going for is, is really height. Yeah, so yeah, we yeah. We want the plant to. Yeah. Why would you buy a Why would yeah. you buy a bigger plant where you could do this? Why bro? buy that one for twenty? How much? Twenty five. Twenty five dollars. When you get when the same could, same height. Literally, look at this. Same. Same, same height. Bro, you should probably get another one. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is beautiful. Yeah, that one's better. <laughs> Oh, that tilts a lot. So you're chilling. That's exactly what I don't want. Hey, bud, do you know this is mine? Is it? Yeah. yeah. Hey, and I see what you did here, bro. Oh, oh <laughs> I'm so sorry, we took this. Oh, no, okay. Thank you. Alright guys, we're making a quick stop because Krispy Kreme got that 86th anniversary. They're giving dozens of donuts for fucking 86 cents. Krispy Kreme, just so you know, we are sold out of all of our donuts and we are only selling drinks. Okay, perfect. I want to order like 15 drinks. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. Thank you so much. Thank you. She was so happy to say that. We should have gone in, like behind the counter. Prove it. <laughs> That's bullshit, dude. I want to am about it. Is that white stripes? Huh? Was that white stripes? Yeah. <laughs> I want to am about it. Anyways, a lot of people ask me like what it took to get here, and so. I'm gonna basically give you a rundown real quick. Like, okay, let's let's do like style of like those documentaries when you're like facing there's someone right here in front of you, and it's like pretend something really bad happened in your life. <laughs> so, um, Aaron, may I call you Aaron? Yeah, that's fine. That's what I prefer. Perfect. Tell me about yourself. Where are you from? I was actually born um, in Phoenix. I was born in Phoenix, raised in Phoenix. I live in Phoenix. Phoenix is my home, and I don't plan on ever leaving this place. I see, I see. So, um, would you consider yourself a a very uh, heavy Phoenix Suns uh, follower? Could you explain to me what you mean by heavy? <laughs> 
what do they mean to you as a team? The Phoenix Suns? Yes, sir. Yes, Aaron. If you had asked me this question, um, you know, 2020, maybe even 2021, I would say that's a part of me. The team is a part of me. Um, now, since they just have lost, let me down, traded away some of my favorite players, they can pretty much go f themselves at this point. If CP3 was right in front of you, what would you say to him? Your finger? Really? Your thumb? Really? Your thumb? <laughs> what do you got to say to Monty? Deuces! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Thank you very much for uh, being a part of this interview. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for everything you guys do. Oh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Anything you want to say to the mic? Go fuck yourself. All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Aaron's uh, D Y I. We're gonna be doing a recess uh, lighting change switch over. Yeah. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> We're kidding. We're gonna be doing a recess light installation. Um, it's extremely scientific. So uh, we have this light up here. That's an LED recess light. Um, as you can see, it's boring as fuck. It's definitely not lit. We're gonna be switching out with this guy. This is a George Foreman grill. Uh, <laughs> it's like a spaceship, basically. Oh. Ultimately, I installed, I built this shelf from scratch. It's made out of mahogany, uh, sapphire gold, and platinum records that I melted. I basically made this out of platinum records that I melted. Stop the cap. <laughs> Where do you get your inspiration though? I get most of my inspiration from my from my employees. Uh, Asian people are really creative, and so I hire a lot of them. The first thing you want to do is get a ladder. When you're doing stuff like this, the safety is always the main protocol. So make sure that you drink a couple beers, have a couple shots, and then uh, make sure that your floor is wet. And then you're gonna take the light and just rip that shit out of there. If you're not like an American-born man, you probably need to make sure you call one for this type of job. <laughs> Basically, when I had when I had this place built and I was looking for contractors that I could trust, um, I hired my uncle, and he's just a nice guy. And man, shout out to that guy. You know, been here, been helping me a lot. And did he die? No, he didn't die. He's He's actually over there at the bar drinking right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. So I'm just gonna install this light now. <laughs> it's pretty complicated because you basically have to find where it's straight on here and then find where it's straight on here. Then you line them up. <laughs> You gotta tilt these guys up and then just shove it in the hole. That's what she said. Jesus Christ, that's bright. I thought those were dimmable. I thought, did you do all the electrical? I don't know where the fucking switch is, bro, so. Did you do the electrical? Yeah, but I didn't do the switches. <laughs> bro. All right, so I got an idea. Shit. Don't worry, guys. I have an easy, there's an easy fix to this. Oh, is there now? We just gotta use this switch to dim it down. This is how you dim your lights. You don't wanna hire anybody too smart when you do your jobs like this. Sometimes smart people just overcomplicate things, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why even have math, you know? When you have calculators. Dude, this is hurting my eyes so much. <laughs> All right, are we dim enough, you think, no? Maybe I'll just put like a little one. Ow, fucking age. How does it look from over here though? Our dimmer switch worked. You guys can see here, it's perfectly lit. Definitely sets the mood. 
next time somebody comes to play darts here, they're definitely getting laid. And my job is done here. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with us tonight. And um, if you if you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe and also subscribe to us. <laughs>